met up with Gina last night and she bought us this card game. Gina, you know, you're amazing. <laughs> she was so much fun. We didn't talk about what we did yesterday. No. Um, we went and saw the world's largest ball of twine, which <laughs> I showed you a little bit. Um, we ended up in Salina, Kansas. We hung out for a little bit, uh, waiting for Gina. Then we went to Ulta, which Brittany had never been to an Ulta. First time. And we found the mascara she was looking for that we had went to Walmart in the morning to get they didn't have. And then we went to a Five Below, and I started my Christmas shopping for my nephews. So we got that stuff in the back. And we had dinner with Gina at Longhorn Steakhouse, and then we hung out in Gina's room for a little over an hour. Mm -hmm. She gave us this, these amazing gift baskets of just like snacks and just little stuff, and it was like the sweetest freaking thing. There's water bottles, blankets, little lint rollers, like. Yeah, she was, she oh. just was so sweet and so glad that we took the time to meet her and yeah, it was awesome. She taught us how to TikTok. <laughs> sure did. We did yeah. a TikTok. If I can find it, I'll try to insert yeah, it somewhere. Some years. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she gave us this game and it's a family feud game. So I'm going to ask Brittany some questions. I'm going to keep the answers covered up so that like I can answer too. Okay. And then we'll see how many we get. So the first one is name something like coffee that can be murder on your stomach. Like coffee? Yeah. Murder on your stomach. Um, whiskey. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> We're not alcoholics, I swear. Uh, um, tomato juice, for me, at least. Um, how many are naming? Well, there's six answers. Have we not hit any of them? You got alcohol. Okay. But coffee is on here as an answer. I didn't think that could be an answer. Like it. I guess I should have kept them covered. I was thinking chili, but I didn't say it, but it is on there. Um, hot pepper sauce. Like, yeah, I was gonna say like Tabasco or something, yeah. even though I won't but. But the first two don't make sense to me. Soda pop and tea. Really? Yeah. Tea can be bad for you? Apparently. Man, all the Let's, Brits got it wrong. Let's try this other one. <laughs> and I won't look at the answers. We'll, we'll name off like five, okay. and we'll see how many we get. Name something cats and men have in common. <laughs> Oh god. They're lazy. <clears throat> They're hairy. Hairy. They only want affection on their terms. True. Um, they can cause you a lot of pain. <laughs> and money. <laughs> and money. <laughs> um, Number one, disrespects his wife. 
Number two, he's nosy. Number three, his attitude. I'd say we got that one. Yeah. Um, number four, his jokes. <laughs> what? <laughs> number five, he is rude. And number six, he drinks too much. Okay, all the top ones, number six I understand, but all the top ones sounds like a prudish ass wife. Right! <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking the problem is you, girl. That was a shite question. <laughs> <laughs> Name something that's bigger in Texas. Um, steaks. Steaks. Mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> All your exes. Hats. <laughs> Hats. Hats. Boots. Boots. Drinks. Um, mm -hmm. Cattle. Cattle, yeah. The actual steak. Um, country pride. Country. Texas. Texas pride. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Egos. Uh -huh. There's the Texas pride. I can say for sure. Cattle. Gone. <laughs> Steaks. <laughs> and the last one is waitress. <laughs> what does that what? Even mean? Waitress. Why would your waitress be bigger? Are we Texas? talking like Dolly Parton? Big or like? Um, I hope so because if they're talking <laughs> about fat, they can f off. Uh, but if so, they love it. So, you know, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Roger has this story about him driving to Illinois, and it was like the summer that all my exes live in Texas came out, so that was like all yeah. they listened to. Because they didn't have cassettes or anything back then. <laughs> Cracks me. <laughs> Alright, let's grab one out of the middle here. Name something many politicians do that's wrong. We should probably avoid this one. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Name a question people ask their dogs. This is a great question for you. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Do you want a treat? Do you want to go for a ride? Are you hungry? Do you want to go, go for a walk? Ride? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> How was your day? Do you have to go potty? You gotta go potty. <laughs> do you want to eat treat? Do you want to go out? How are you? What do you want? We got them all. We got them all. <laughs> We're amazing at this. I just pictured talking to Brutus. <laughs> Name a word or phrase that starts with the word break. Breakfast. Break up. <laughs> break up. Break down. Uh -huh. uh, break apart. Break a bowl. Break a bowl. It starts with the word break. How is it spelled? Is it just the word? Yeah, in just general? the word break. Yeah. Okay. We got five. So yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, break a leg we didn't get. No, a phrase, I forgot about yeah. that. Breakfast, break up, break dance, okay. break it up, and break down. So we have three of them. Yeah. That's not bad. I forgot about phrase. <laughs> Name a place stressed out people go to feel better. A bar. Bar. Um, an insane asylum. <laughs> <laughs> bed. A bed. To bed. Uh, their mom's house, maybe? Yeah. Or their best friend's house? Yeah, hang out, a party. Uh, where do I go when I'm stressed out? Your backyard. My backyard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a spa or sauna. Oh, shit. We ain't bougie enough for that. As a massage therapist, I should have said that. <laughs> a bar. Why didn't we get this next one? The beach. Oh, Because that's our place. <laughs> Church. Definitely not for us. No. Massage parlor. <laughs> the last one is rehab or clinic, and you did say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is fun. I can't believe we didn't get beach. I know. <laughs> what is wrong with us? That's our thing. Uh, Name the first thing you ask when you buy a used car. What's How much? wrong with it? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Was it in an accident? Previous owners? How many previous owners? How many miles? Um, I guess that's five. Yeah. Ooh. Mileage, how much? Ever been in an accident? How does it run? What's wrong with it? <laughs> how many owners? Is it working? And why are you selling it? Okay. Those are good ones, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Name something a divorced person does to get over an ex. Get Sleep with someone new. <laughs> That's just me? That's Oops. just me? That's just me? <laughs> wow. So he definitely sleeps with someone else. Um, hmm. Goes on a self-finding journey. 
It moves out. It moves out. <laughs> Let's see. Drink counselor. Or, goes to counseling. Yeah. Like, healthy coping mechanism? Not healthy coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lights their shit on fire. <laughs> Date and remarry is number one. Uh-huh. Get drunk. Go out with their friends or party. Shop or buy a new car. Work extra hard or hide their money. <laughs> okay. Well, someone's gonna think. Hide their money. Oh. oh my goodness. He could be like, well, my mother, who's amazing, and just, you know, sell their prized boat for, like, $5,000 less than what it's worth. <laughs> what month does the neighborhood slacker take down his Christmas lights? Never. I mean, never. <laughs> July. July. <laughs> uh, March. February. March. April, May, June, July. <laughs> okay, never was number one. February was number two. March was number three. Oh, actually, February, March, April, July, and June are all tied. <laughs> wow. That was a lame What What is happening here? Um, what is happening is there's two semis, and they're pacing each other, so we're stuck behind them. Bruh, you're supposed to be... Listen, D.O.T. You're supposed to be passing. <laughs> Listen, Linda. <laughs> Name a food that causes bad breath. Onions. Garlic. Onions. Garlic. Um... Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Um, bad breath. Trying to think. I should have done that with my tongue. That was gum, weird. actually. Some gum, yeah, for sure. Huh. Bad Cigarette breath. Uh, coffee, maybe? Oh, yeah, definitely. The only two answers are garlic and onions. What the hell? <laughs> what? All right. Like, Listen, Steve, there's more than that. Do you, boo? <laughs> Child, you better speed up or something. Okay, there's only two answers for this one, too. I've got it covered like that. Okay. Tell me, in what sport do the athletes receive the worst injuries? Rugby? <laughs> and football? football? And maybe hockey? Yeah. Football and hockey. How dare they not include rugby? Ugh. Okay, there's seven answers for this one. Stupid Americans. <laughs> Stupid Americans. <laughs> Name something you find sand in after a day at the beach. Your butt crack. <laughs> your toes. Your toes. The your car, shoes. The car. The shoes, yeah. The towels. Mm -hmm. Your bathing suit. Your food. <laughs> your food. Everything. Shoes, clothes. Hair. Swimsuit. Towel, blanket. Hair, body. A shell, your beach bag, and your money. Some of these answers are real dumb. <laughs> We're real dumb. And your money. Okay, let's do one more. Okay. Seven answers on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Name a kind of place where someone might say, Oh, it's a jungle out there. What kind of place? Um, the zoo? <laughs> <laughs> Work? Safari? School, yeah. maybe? A big city. This is a toughie. It's a hard one. <laughs> That's what she said. Usually oh. I just say, it's shit out there. <laughs> New York, Wall Street. Work or the office. Downtown or city. Store or mall. School. The zoo. Highway traffic. Look at you. <laughs> okay, last card. Six answers on the board. Name something that little kids eat that leaves telltale evidence on their face. Cookies, Cookies chocolate, chocolate. <coughs> pizza, pizza, for sure. Cool. Let's see. Stick your nephews. Stick your nephews. Oh, ice cream. Literally everything. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Logan. He can't keep anything in his mouth. <laughs> Chocolate candy, ice cream, tomato sauce, so like they have spaghetti, spaghetti. cookies, hot cocoa, and milk. <laughs> That's good. That was fun. Yeah. We just, we needed to break up the monotony. We're really tired today. We slept trashily. Horrible. And we need to go like 12 hours This today. is our longest day of driving, yeah. and we slept like absolute trash. 
It's we set our alarms for 6 a.m. and we woke up at, at 5 30. We were in the car <laughs> heading out at 6 a.m. It was awesome. And now it's what, 2.45? Um, yeah, it's 2.45. <coughs> we still got a lot to go. <laughs> and neither one of us can nap. Yeah, apparently. we just can't seem to fall asleep. <sighs> anyway, um, bye. Um, bye, maybe. See you again. <laughs> We're in West Virginia. Stopped at this place called Tamarack. I'm vlogging. Like <laughs> oh, the hands. Yeah. Oh. oh This place is cool as heck. Yeah. Hard cider, fuck yeah. <laughs> they got a pineapple one. Huh? They got a pineapple one. All kinds of maple syrup. I kind of do want to get some cider and stuff before we leave. These are just cool. Green Matter Ghost solves on murder. Ooh. Hatfield takes on devil himself. Why is that not focusing? Hmm. I mean, I don't like beer, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> I don't like beer either. They got me with oh, and you can create your own six pack. That's cool. I feel like we need a cart. <laughs> Ooh, these are creepy. Pigeon turn makes me laugh more. <laughs> Brittany's a creepy bitch. <laughs> Where'd Brittany go? I found shopping baskets. They say shop with me. They're hecka cute. Got myself a six pack of the ciders. <laughs> Should we try some blackberry wine? Yeah. Found a basket. Oh. Did you find a basket? No, not yet. I was walking around and now I don't have to go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
these are made out of uh, these are made out of like beer cans and stuff and soda cans that's hella cool some purple owl earrings These are clay, glass. Oh, here's some more jewelry. Ooh, these are made out of wire. These are aluminum. I think I might get these. These are really pretty. Ooh, bear claw necklaces. Antler tip earrings. So, <laughs> I saw this thing on Twitter today. This is funny. These are lazy Susans and someone said, who's Susan and why is she so lazy? Look at me, found the clearance section. Oh, this table's pretty cool. It looks like they're swimming. Oh, look at that happy pig. There's a fox. Why is that chicken like that? I don't like it. Looks like Russell Brand. Did we make it all the way around already? Spooky. This is Fiesta wear. Oh, wow, look at those ones. Oh, I like this set.
Oh, per pound. Whatever you fit in the pouch. Yeah. I knew you'd find those. <laughs> I like the black set. <laughs> we made it all the way around. What? I know, I was surprised too. I thought there was more. Okay guys, it is Monday the 4th. We are in West Virginia, which you'll have saw the Tamarack um, gallery place. I got some hard ciders and some local wines, and it was just, it was a really cool little place inside, and we walked around the whole thing. Um, we will be in Virginia Beach today, probably get there about five o'clock tonight, settle into our hotel, and then visit with some friends. I'm, I can't believe we, we drove across the country, like, it's, so weird and surreal to me that we we actually drove across the country like it's crazy I think we could have done it in four days if we hadn't stopped in Kansas and, and stopped so early in Kansas and the night before we stopped a little bit early but it's it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy to think about that we we actually did this so today we will you know, we'll show you when we get to Virginia Beach and anything along the way. We don't take out the camera very much because it's a lot of driving. It's basically just us in a car. So, <laughs> pretty just walk by. <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, wanted to fill you guys in and you know, the rest of the vlog for about a week will be, you know, actually seeing people and staying in places. We'll be in Virginia Beach for three nights. And then we'll go to Cleveland for four nights. So, and what I couldn't tell you why we're traveling this time of year is because Saturday night, there's a surprise party for Lou for his birthday. But I couldn't tell you guys that because he watches my vlogs and he knew I was coming on the trip so he would be watching them. So, you know, that's why I couldn't tell you that's why we were traveling this specific time. I know some of you guys were worried about like, the um, the weather and stuff we haven't hit anything we've, we've seen some snow and it snowed a few flakes on us when we were in Wyoming but that was it so yeah it's so exciting you guys we're almost to Virginia Beach finally saw some water I'm pretty sure this is uh, either a river that goes into the ocean or the ocean I'm not, I'm not even sure yet but apparently we're going into a tunnel Brittany's driving Bobby Oh my god, does the water really go over us? I Holy... I like this is, but I think it's underwater. Holy right. cow. Because there was more water. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta do it. Beep, beep. <laughs> and we back. <laughs> Beach Information Center, Contemporary Art Center of Virginia. Cool, so many things. Sorry about the dirty wind chill. <laughs> We've cleaned it like 50 times. Please forgive me. <laughs> Just want to be in that thing. Mm, no, this, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> you're, you're smarter than me, it's fine. Vibe. It's a vibe. That's a vibe. I look at the street. 
the crosswalks are like painted. They're really cool looking. Mm -hmm. Looks like at this light, you're gonna take a right. Turn right onto Pacific Avenue. A fountain. Turn left onto 6th Street. Where that car's turning. Turn left onto 6th Street, then turn right onto Atlantic Avenue. There it is, the quarters beach. Hey, or the beach right quarters. Atlantic Avenue. Then your destination will be on Okay, the they have a parking garage, so that's good. Yeah. Alright, we just got here. Here's the bedroom when you just walk in the door. These are two beds, obvi. And then that's all our luggage. TV stand. There's this really cute green chair over here. Really cute. And here's the hallway. And there's Brittany. That's the bathroom. You don't need to see the bathroom. Here's the living room. We've got the air on already because we are warm girls. Couch, table, coffee table, TV, the little kitchenette so that we don't have to eat out all the time. I'm waiting for Brittany to go outside. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right. It's dark, so you know, what I hope this doesn't lock. Oh my, oh my God. God. Oh my. Okay, it doesn't lock unless you push the button. Hey guys, oh we're, we're, we're on the Atlantic Ocean right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're on the seventh floor. Wow. Oh, look at all the way down there. I think they're setting up for Christmas. <laughs> Setting up for Christmas down there. There's like, oh, looks like a playground type thing. It's. I think those might be like the other lights. Like the oh, other they just aren't lit yet. Ship. I think there's a yeah, there. there's something right there by us that we didn't even see. Oh my God. But holy shit, we're here. Okay, I'm gonna savor the moment. Corgi trying to keep up with his family. <laughs> like everybody else is up there, and he's just like, Guys, this is hard. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. It's gonna be okay. Why is this so amusing to me? <laughs> Alright, so here's the beach in the morning. We are waiting for sunrise. It's 6.20 a.m.
Okay, so there's a group of people surfing here, and these people are surf fishing. They're doing construction at our hotel, so that's what this thing is. It's a scaffolding thing. <laughs> but, you guys, I just... Let's make sure I have the wrist things on in case I drop it, because y'all know me. <sighs> All right, so I'm out on the balcony. Brittany's gonna take a shower, and we're gonna get up and get out of here. It's probably about noon now. Um, we were up until like three in the morning. Just, oh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's a little bit muggy here. So it's like uh, mid to high 60s. Uh, we're gonna go see the Neptune statue today and just kind of explore uh, Virginia Beach. And then tomorrow, hopefully we'll get to hang out with some people that we know here and again, explore. Um, I gotta go to a Wawa. I've been told I have to go to a Wawa. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we just uh, wanna check some things out. This, I feel so blessed to be able to do this. My friend Gio, I was texting him and I was like, oh, it's so crazy. He goes, make sure you take it all in and soak it in because not a lot of people get to do this. And that it really hit me that like, a lot of people don't get to do this and you know we, <laughs> we've been planning this for a year and we're finally doing it like we planned this trip coming back from California last year we're like we're gonna drive across the country it's gonna be insane it's gonna be awesome and we did it we drove across the country and we've got two more days here and then we've got a nine hour day like nine hours of driving so probably about 10 to 11 hours in the car um, to get to Cleveland and we'll be there for four days and so excited to see Lou. He texted me this morning, he's like, so Michelle and I had a conversation last night. She said it's three days till you get here. I said, well, think about it, it's only two days. <laughs> and it's true, I, I get to see them in like two days and it's like, it's so crazy. <laughs> so crazy that I've known someone for like two and a half years online and like watched him stream, he's watched me stream, we've supported each other, we, you know, we've, talked on the phone, like all this stuff, and I get to meet him in person, in the flesh. I really am so just, yeah, soaking it in and realizing how much of a privilege this is to be able to take two weeks off of my job and go on this amazing trip. And yeah, it's just, it's crazy to think about. With the King Neptune statue, there's a lot of water. He's huge. The lobster. Can you imagine? <laughs> this is why I brought her. You guys know now.
professional. editing candy here uh, I realize that while I'm uh, while I'm going through and editing some of this stuff I don't explain anything <laughs> I don't explain where we are what we're doing um, so sorry about that <laughs> so in this vlog you saw us go to Tamarack West Virginia which was a place where they sell local artist things so like you saw a bunch of woodworking and glass and jewelry and craft beers and things like that and it was a uh, round, <coughs> sorry, a round building. So we walked inside the whole thing and it was really, really cool. Um, then you saw us getting into Virginia Beach and our first, uh, you know, view of the Atlantic Ocean and not gonna lie, I cried. And even re-watching the footage, I was like, tearing up and I just messaged Brittany and I was like sitting here like a dork tearing up watching us see the Atlantic Ocean for the first time <laughs> like like we've never seen an ocean but it was it was a very surreal moment and it was really cool um then the next day you see me talk about it and we go to the Neptune statue or do you want up or down <laughs> we go to the Neptune statue and then you see us at Top Golf. so I'll explain what that is um my friend Will lives in Virginia Beach. And so he and his friends invited us to go to Top Golf. And it was the first time Brittany and I had ever been. And we had seen it coming into town. I was like, dude, we should go to Top Golf. I heard it's kind of cool. She's like, oh yeah, I think there's one in town. And we found out there is one. It's like 20 minutes outside of Portland. And so I was like, yeah, we should definitely do that. And then they invited us to go to Top Golf. And I was like, yeah, let's go to Top Golf. So that was really fun. Um, after that we went back to their house and hung out and it was like it was like seeing gamers in their natural habitat so there was like six of them playing Fortnite on their switches and one person's like I think Tyler super butter buns that's who I got to meet I you know guys know I've talked about her um, I'll insert a picture I got to meet her that was super cool um, but so she's projected on their big TV but everyone else is on their switches so all six of them were sitting around just staring at their switches and I was like this is gamers in real life this is what they do when they hang out <laughs> like it was just kind of cool and like a different to see the person behind the screen you know because I'm used to watching them stream or you know seeing them on Twitter or whatever so that was really cool and it was really sweet of them to invite us over and you know invite us to hang out with them they didn't they didn't have to do that so that was really cool and so we hung out with them and then we went back to our hotel room and that was you know our second day basically second day in Virginia our second night so you're getting about three days per vlog at this moment um, in Cleveland there was some really cool stuff that we saw so you'll be seeing that in the next vlog you'll see we go to the aquarium uh, the Virginia Beach Aquarium. I'm at like 
42 minutes now, so I'm not going to add that into this vlog. But you'll see that in the next vlog, and I don't really explain that, so I'll probably have to film another thing that says, hey, this is what we did today. Um, so yeah, that's, you'll see that, but um, I wanted to give, so I, as I'm editing this, I'm like looking at the comments from the last video. Yes, we wore our seat belts. <laughs> there were times where I, if I was driving, I would tuck it under my, my arm, because at one point, well, it would be this shoulder, um, it had like rubbed my shoulder raw from just sitting in the car for hours and hours and hours. And so I would sometimes put it under my arm and when I'm in the passenger seat and we're playing that um, family feud game, that's what I had done. It's tucked under my arm from the passenger seat. So yes, we wore seat belts. And I wanted to clarify that we weren't smoking weed while we were driving. Uh, we bought some pre-rolls and I think we smoked two of them the entire time we were gone. So if you were concerned about that, sorry, but not really. Like, we're responsible adults. So there's that. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> those were a few of, like, some comments that I saw. You need to decide where you want to go. Okay? <laughs> so the, the theme for the trip basically was we should have had the camera out because <laughs> we were just so caught up in the moments and enjoying what we were doing that I didn't always get the camera out and I'm glad I didn't on, on one hand I'm glad I didn't because I got to enjoy that moment but then I'm like well now I don't have like as many you know pictures and stuff but it was so far, what you've seen, it's been a great trip. So <laughs> I will uh, try to edit, you know, one every three or four days and get them out as quickly as I can and get back to regular videos. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next travel vlog. Bye.